What is going on guys, Joel here, and today we're gonna be doing a video on how to do a bootable USB drive of OS 10 Yosemite. Now I've actually done this and covered this in the past with different Mac OS 10s like Lion, uh, Mountain Lion, and also Mavericks. And now that OS 10 Yosemite is finally available to the public, the final build, I decided to go ahead and do a video on this as well. So I'm actually in the future, I'm gonna be doing a clean install and I'll be doing a video covering that as well. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you wanna know how to do that. But clean installing a Mac operating system, I actually like doing that a lot, uh, maybe once or twice a year or each time a new OS 10 is available. Uh, for my Mac. Simply what it does, uh, you wipe out your whole hard drive and then you'll clean install a new operating system which is going to be uh, OS 10 Yosemite in this case. That way you have everything running smoothly and no issues. It's like a brand new computer basically. So if you do want to go ahead and do that, uh, like I said, stay tuned for that future video and also before you even watch that video, when it's available, go ahead and back up your computer using Time Machine or simply drag and drop your files onto an external hard drive or flash drive uh, that you want to recover when you go ahead and install a fresh new clean uh, OS 10 Yosemite. Now installing OS 10 Yosemite onto a flash drive or to an external hard drive depending which one you want to use. I'll be actually using a flash drive on this video which is going to be uh, this 8 gigabyte PNY USB flash drive and I'll leave a link down below if you want to go ahead and pick one up. Uh, but yeah, very cheap. Go ahead and pick one of these up. You will have to have a minimum of eight gigabytes because the file size of OS 10 Yosemite uh, is five gigs, a little over five gigs. So be sure it is at least an eight gigabyte flash drive or else it won't work. Uh, but anyways, simply what this is gonna do is allow you to install uh, Mac OS 10 Yosemite onto all your Macs at home. I'm actually gonna be installing this, of course, on my MacBook Pro, which is what you're seeing right now in front of you and also on my main machine, which is my iMac. So making a bootable OS 10 Yosemite USB drive will give you the ease of installing it to all your Mac computers with just a simple few clicks. I think the most time consuming would be uh, this process that you'll be doing in this video, just making that USB Yosemite flash drive. So like I said, you'll need to go ahead and get one of these uh, eight gigabyte flash drives, and then we'll simply go ahead and put it into our Mac. And once it reads it, uh, you'll simply get it on your Mac here. Um, you will notice that this actually says OS 10 10.9 uh, Mavericks and this is actually the install disk or the bootable drive that I did in the last video that I did of uh, how to do a USB flash drive of OS 10 Mavericks. But I'm actually going to be writing over this because I don't need that anymore. So once you have that USB flash drive or external hard drive uh, connected to your Mac, go ahead and download also OS 10 Yosemite which is going to be available in the Mac App Store now. Uh, all you got to do is go to your Mac App Store and download OS 10 Yosemite. So go ahead and download that. I already have it downloaded, of course, as you saw on the home screen. But like I mentioned, it is going to be a little over five gigabytes as you see here. Uh, go ahead and download that. It may take like a couple minutes or 20, 30 minutes, depending on your internet connection. Once you have that downloaded, go ahead and head over to the link down below, uh, which is going to be my how to guide. And in that guide, it will include a Disk Maker X link. Uh, go ahead and download this. This is what we're going to be using that's going to help you kind of ease the process of making a, a bootable OS 10 drive. I've actually done it manually and there's a little bit more steps. So Disk Maker X actually allows you to, to ease the process of it. So go ahead and download it in the links down below. So once you have OS 10 Yosemite and Disk Maker X downloaded and you have your USB flash drive connected to your computer, We'll go ahead and go into disk utility. Now, since I am using a flash drive here, I'm gonna go ahead and erase everything on here. So make sure to go to erase, go to format, and make sure it is on Mac OS Extended Journaled. And you can name it whatever, I'm just gonna leave it at untitled. I'm gonna go ahead and erase this real quick, and it's gonna unmount the disk and then erase it and all that good stuff. So this will take a couple minutes. All right, so now you will see right here on the left side, uh, this is going to be my flash drive and this is going to be the part that I erased. So now we'll be good to go. We'll go ahead and exit out of this. We'll open up Disk Maker X and then we'll go ahead and click on Yosemite right here. And now it says it found a copy of the installer software in this certain folder. Now we'll automatically find OS and Yosemite, but if it doesn't, if maybe for some reason it's wrong, go ahead and use other copy. And then I have mine laying on my desktop. Yours will probably be in your applications. So go ahead and scroll down to applications and then find install, which should be in the eyes. 
but like I said, mine's on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and click on install OS 10 Yosemite. And this is going to be the screen you'll get next. So this is basically saying which kind of disk will you use? I'm going to be using an eight gigabyte USB thumb drive or AKA flash drive. Uh, so I can go ahead and click on that. Now, if you're using an external hard drive, uh, go ahead and click on another disk and then select the disk from here. You should have a couple selections if you have multiple hard drives on there. So make sure it is the correct uh, disk and then we'll go ahead and hit choose disk. Now this, as you saw earlier, this is what I formatted or erased on my USB flash drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this disk. And now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on erase and then create the disk. Now before doing this, if you didn't go ahead and erase everything on your flash drive or external hard drive, be sure to back that up before you do anything because this will completely erase everything on your external hard drive or USB flash drive. So go ahead and hit create disk and uh, basically we're gonna play the waiting game here and let it do its thing. Now here you wanting to go ahead and input your password so it can proceed in the steps. Uh, so make sure you put in your password so that way it can continue the process. All right, so once that is completely done, it did take about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, it may take a little longer or it may uh, go a little faster for you, but for me, it took me about 10 to 15 minutes. So just be aware of that. Uh, just let it sit and do its thing. But now to simply make sure uh, this is working well, uh, let's go ahead and take out our flash drive right now and uh, we'll hit eject here. And then we'll simply put it back in and make sure that OS 10 Yosemite pops up. So now we get the installed disk. So we are good to go. We can go ahead and press on this and double tap on that. And then we'll get the installation uh, screen here. But we're not going to be doing that right now. That is simply how you go ahead and do a bootable drive for your Macs. Now, if you want to go ahead and watch the next video, which is going to be coming up very, very soon, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So you will be notified when I come out with that video. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus, as I will mention when that video is available, but it should be available pretty soon. Uh, if not already. So go ahead and hit the like button if you did enjoy this video, if it did help you out. Uh, it not only helps me, but it supports the channel. It shows support to the channel as well. And go ahead and follow me on all my social networks. All the links will be down below if you're not yet following me on that. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. That way you won't miss whenever I come out with all of my latest videos and also how to clean install OS 10 Yosemite onto your Mac. Anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you all on the next video, all right? Peace.